Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss a very important recent circular which has been issued by SEBI and this one relates to AIFs and VCFs which are alternate investment funds and venture capital funds. So this circular deals with overseas investment limits by AIFs and VCFs and this is going to be a very important topic for the upcoming SEBI grade 8 2018 examination. So friends, we have been working in this direction of guiding students for competitive examinations for the past few years and we have been blessed with some of the very amazing results. In RBA grade B 2017, 27 of our students, they made it to the final list. And in NABAD grade A 2018, 20 of our students, they were selected in the final list. And RBA grade AB 2018, the final result is still awaited but again we are positive on this front also. Now before directly jumping onto the questions, let me quickly tell you about the courses which we are presently running for SEBI Grade A 2018. So we are offering these courses, you can avail the course for security market phase 1 and phase 2 or you can also choose the phase 1 mock test along with this securities market course and there is this full course for phase 1 and phase 2 of the SEBI Grade A. So you can choose as per your requirement and also you can avail attractive discounts by using the codes given below. Now in order to channelize your preparation in a better way and in order to prepare you for all the related competitive examinations in one go, we are also providing some combo courses for SEBI, RBI and NABAD. So you can choose the combo courses also if you are preparing for all these examinations. Again you can avail discounts by using the discount codes mentioned here. So friends, this was a news recently that SEBI has raised overseas investment limit of AIS and VCS to $750 million. So this is the crux, this is something which you have to remember at any cost that the limit has been raised to $750 million. So friends, this was a circular which was issued recently in July 2018 and this is addressed to all the alternate investment funds and all the venture capital funds and it is subjected as overseas investment by alternate investment funds AIS and venture capital funds that is VCFs. So friends we are going to discuss all of the different aspects pertaining to AIFs, VCFs and this particular circular in this video. So you stay tuned and please listen carefully what are the different aspects that we are going to cover and it will be a very fruitful discussion for all of us. So first let us quickly look at what the circular has to say. So SEBI why it's earlier circular which was dated 1st of October 2015. So this is about the earlier circular which is dated October 2015. Now in this circular SEBI had allowed that overseas investment by AIFs and VCFs. So this is important overseas investment and this is to be by AIFs and VCFs. It was allowed to the extent of US dollar 500 million. Now in consultation with RBI, it is now decided to enhance the said limit to US dollar 750 million. Now because the foreign currency foreign exchange is in picture, it's important that the RBI's approval and consultation was done. So that's why this move has been taken in consultation with RBI and now the revised limit is US dollar 750 million and the provisions of the circular this revised limit shall be applicable from July 2nd 2018. So this is the crux of this particular circular that overseas investment by VCFs and AAFs can now be made up to US dollar 750 million. Now let us take a look at the different concepts involved in this particular circular that is alternate investment funds, venture capital funds and others. So let's first dis discuss alternate investment funds or AAFs. Now alternate investment funds or AIFs, they are funds which are established or incorporated in India and the purpose is to pool in capital from Indian and foreign investors and this capital is invested as per a predetermined policy. So here the funds it is to be incorporated in India but the capital is being borrowed from both Indian as well as foreign sources and the capital which is being borrowed, the money which is being accumulated, it is being invested as per a predecided policy. So AIF means any fund which is established or incorporated in India which is a privately pooled investment vehicle to collect funds from sophisticated investors and the investors from which the AIFs they seek to collect the funds they are 
the sophisticated investors which can be either Indian or a foreigner for investing it in accordance with the defined investment policy for the benefit of investors. So it's it's making clear the what is the meaning of alternate investment funds and it also says that alternate investment funds does not include the funds which are covered under SEBI mutual funds regulations 1996 and SEBI collective investment schemes regulations 1999. So it is saying that please do not confuse the AIS with mutual funds and collective investment schemes. So friends, if someone asks you about alternate investment funds, these are the points which you have to keep in mind while answering this particular question. So you have to remember that these are privately pooled investment vehicles. So these are the vehicles through which money is being pooled and these vehicles, they are established in India. So they are established in India. That's why the SEBI is concerned about these because they are incorporated in India and they are collecting funds from different sets of sophisticated investors. And these investors, they may be from India or from foreign. So it's not necessary that the investors have to be from India, but the fund has to be in India. And the money is invested as per a predefined investment policy, which is there. And the ultimate objective is benefit of the investors. So these are the key points which you have to remember while answering the definition of alternate investment funds. And at the same time, you have to remember that they are not mutual funds and they are not collective investment schemes. Now, if you look at the categorization of AES, that is alternate investment funds, then as per the SEBI AEF regulations 2012, AES shall seek registration in one of the three categories. So if you aspire to register yourself as alternate investment fund or AEF, you can register either in the three categories, each having its own set of compliance norms and each is having its own set of risk measurement. So if you look at the first category, now this first category, it mainly relates to investment in startups and SMEs, which the government considers economically and socially viable. So first one, first category AEF, they are putting in money in those sectors which the government considers economically and socially viable. Now when we talk about the second category, so these are AEFs such as private equity funds or debt funds for which no specific in incentives or concessions are given by the government. So these are those funds which are private equity or debt with no specific incentives. And on the third category, we have the funds which are hedge funds or funds which trade with a view to make short term return. So here in category three, we'll be having all the left out funds like hedge funds and all the funds for which there is no specific guarantee or commission or incentive by the government or any other regulatory authority. So we have to remember that there are three categories of AIS and the broad categories of persons included in each of the categories. Now let's move to the concept of venture capital funds. Now this definition of this particular type of fund can be clear from its name itself that it says venture. So these are those funds which are putting in their money in new kinds of ventures. Now, technically speaking, they are those funds which are alternate investment vehicles which manage the money of investors. So they are also kind of alternate investment vehicles and they are that are managing the money of their investors and the money which is being taken from investors. So investors are putting in their money in this venture fund and this money is being invested in startups and small to medium sized businesses which have high growth potential. Now the downside here is that the investment which is made by the venture capital funds, it is characterized by high risk, high return opportunity. So it may be that there is a huge return that you earn or it may be that you may lose even your entire money. So this is the concept of venture capital funds in which the money is being invested for investing in different sorts of startups and SMEs in the country. Now let's also take a quick look at the regulations pertaining to alternate investment funds and venture capital funds. Now SEBI alternate investment fund regulations they were issued in 2012 and they replaced the earlier SEBI venture capital funds regulations 1996. So earlier we had a separate set of regulations for venture capital funds but now since 2012 they have been compiled under this one set of regulations and as per these regulations if any person has to become an alternate investment fund it has to obtain a certificate from the registration from the board 
an application for grant of this particular certificate or registration from the board shall be made for any of the categories which is specified in form number a of the first schedule of this particular uh, so regulation so this is about the sebi alternate investment fund regulations 2012 so we have to remember that aef regulations which are there they are regulating both aefs as well as venture capital funds or vcfs now as a part of this particular circular there is also some monitoring limit with regard to the utilization of funds now the sebi has increased this particular investment limit but sebi also wants to keep a check on whether this limit is being utilized and what is the quantum to which this limit is being utilized and to ensure that this limit is not breached in any case so in order to check all these sebi has made mandatory the following disclosures so it says that AIFs and VCFs shall report the utilization of the overseas limit within five working days to SEBI. So you have to report to SEBI that whether how you have utilized this utilization of overseas limit within five working days. And they shall also be required to provide certain other information to SEBI. So let's take a look at what is this other information. So, it, so the AIFs and VCFs, they shall report the following through the SEBI portal. So in case an AEF or VCF, they have not utilized their overseas limit, which is being granted to them within a period of six months, the same shall be reported within two working days of, after the expiry of this period of six months. So it says that if you're not utilizing your limit, you have to communicate this within two working days. And if say, it says that if you have utilized only a part of your limit and you have not utilized another part of your limit, then again, you have to report within two working days. And in case you want to surrender the overseas limit which has been allocated to you, you can do so at any point of time and the same shall be reported within two working days from the date of decision to surrender the limit. So this, this is about the different sets of uh, reporting norms, the different sets of responsibilities under this particular regulations. Now let's take a look at some of the MCQs which can be framed out of this topic. SEBI wide its recent circular has decided to enhance the overseas investment by AIFs and VCFs too. Options are US dollar 250 million, US dollar 500 million, US dollar 750 million and 1000 million. So friends, we have discussed that now this limit has been enhanced to US dollar 750 million. So the correct answer is going to be option number C. Next question, alternate investment funds or AIFs includes options are Mutual funds, collective investment scheme, both of the above or none of the above. So friends, this also we have covered that AAFs do not cover the mutual funds and collective investment schemes because we have a separate set of regulations which is already issued for them. So in this case, the answer is going to be option number D, that is none of the above. Next question, which of the following is incorrect with regard to venture capital funds? They are alternate investment funds that manage the money of investors. They seek private equity stakes in startups and small to medium sized enterprises. So here the first and second, they are true. They are generally characterized as low risk, low return opportunities or none of the above. So friends, this also we have covered that option number C would be the incorrect one because in venture capital funds, we have a higher amount of risk and higher return, which is attached. Next question. SEBI wide its recent circular has decided to enhance the overseas limit by AIFs and VCFs. AIFs VCFs shall report the utilization of this overseas limit within dash working days of such utilization to the SEBI intermediate portal. Options are 5 working days, 10 working days, 15 working days or none of the above. So this also we have covered that any mail, any reporting is to be done within five working days on the SEBI intermediary portal. So here the answer is going to be option number A. So friends, these are the answers. So friends, this was all about our discussion on one of the recent SEBI circular, which is very important for the upcoming SEBI graded 2018 examination. So thank you friends. If you want to know more about our courses, you can visit our website that is www.edutap.co.in or you can simply drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutap.co.in or you can even call us at 8146207241. Thank you.